Hello, my name is Paul and welcome back to another one of my productivity training videos. In this video, I'm going to be giving you some tips on how to keep your Mac nice and clean and organized. So sorry PC users, this uh, video uh, is specific to the Mac, I'm afraid. Now, this is a video that's going to be great for anyone that has had a Mac for a while, maybe you've had it for a few years, and you find it's maybe starting to slow down, you find there's lots of junk everywhere, maybe your desktop has got lots of uh, files and images and old uh, documents and things on it, and you just feel like it's really a really good time to do a bit of a spring clean on your Mac. So that's kind of what I'm getting into in this video. And to start with, I want to explain or, or give you an, a tour of one of the most useful apps that I've been using for, I've probably been using this app for about five years now, which is Clean My Mac. Now, Clean My Mac is a fantastic app that allows you to easily identify old stuff that you can throw away. So it actually clears up a lot of disk space on your computer, but it can also help with general optimization and maintenance of your Mac as well. So when getting started, you can either click through each of these tabs on the left. So there's some uh, things you can do here to clean up system junk or to remove mail attachments, empty your trash, things like that. There's also some scans you can do to um, remove malware from your computer or improve the privacy of your machine as well. So you can do some of those scans. Uh, you can optimize your Mac and perform general maintenance tasks to speed up things like mail and free up RAM. There's some features to uh, uninstall old apps, to update your, your applications and manage extensions. And there are some file management uh, capabilities in here as well that help you to find large files uh, and safely delete them as well. So there's lots of tabs there that you can really dig into to uh, optimize and clean up your computer. One of the easiest things to do though, if you uh, have just downloaded this app, one of the easiest things to do is just start a smart scan. When you start a smart scan, Clean My Mac is just gonna scan your computer. It's gonna look for old stuff that you can clean up. Uh, it's gonna look at files like things like old mail attachments that you no longer need, um, system files, and just that cruft that just tends to fill up your machine. It will find all of that. You can see it's found about 8.4 gigabytes here, so I can delete that. It's also gonna check how to protect your machine. Maybe it can. it's gonna identify some malware or some security threats, so it's just performing a general um, uh, security check there. And it's, fa it's found a couple of things it can do to improve my Mac's speed as well. So I can review these details, I can see what it's found here. So it's found some system junk, uh, there's some stuff in the trash I can get rid of, and there's some mail attachments. Uh, it's found no threats on my computer, which is great, and uh, it's found three tasks that it can run, so it's going to run some maintenance scripts, it's going to flush my DNS cache, and it's going to free up some RAM. So right, that all sounds good to me, so I'm just going to click Run, I'm going to quit Safari, and I'm just going to let Clean My Mac do its thing. And so this smart scan, this is something I will do every couple of weeks. In fact, I'll get a little notification on my computer. Yeah, every couple of weeks, or if I haven't done one in a while, Clean My Mac will just say, hey, why don't you do a scan? And I'll do this every couple of weeks. And it's just a really nice way to keep my computer kind of clean and fresh and uh, just generally optimized and uh, protected. So that is the first feature of Clean My Mac that is makes this tool super easy to use. You don't really have to understand how it works. You just do the scan and let it do its thing. And you can see there, I've now cleaned up 8.4 gigs and it's, it's um, done, it's optimized my machine for me as well. Some other things I can do with Clean My Mac, like I said, I can click through any of these tabs on the left. If I want to go into some of these maintenance tasks, I can select certain um, tasks for it to perform. Occasionally, I've had some issues with Spotlight on the Mac where uh, it doesn't find things. Um, and so what I'll do is I'll choose the re-index Spotlight option, and that just forces uh, the machine to kind of completely index my library of files uh, again, and so it can make Spotlight more reliable. So um, there's some things that I can do in there. Uh, there is the uninstaller that I can use as well. So this is something I will use if I want to uninstall an application. I can come in here and I can find the file, uh, select it, and I can uninstall. And so that's not only uninstalling the actual application, it's actually uninstalling all of the supporting files and system files that come with it as well. So that just helps to do a, a really thorough uninstall of applications. The updater, like I said, is, is really good. So I can actually see there's some updates here that I need to go and perform. This just helps me to keep my apps up to date. Uh, as you might know, um, often these updates are for things like security patches and security updates. So just keeping these up, these things up to date is really useful. 
And a great uh, feature that we have in here to actually free up a lot of space on our computers is the space lens, um, where you can, I can do a scan here, and it's going to find, uh, it's gonna look at all my files on the computer, and it's gonna really help me visualize uh, where my files are on the machine, how big certain files and folders are, so I can, if I want to free up some space, I can go in and do that. So here we go, I can see uh, my applications is taking up about 27 gigs, my user folder is taking up 98, so I can I can dig into that, and then I can dig into my, my actual account, and then I can go into all my documents and things and see, right, what is it in this folder that's taking up lots of room? So maybe there's some old files in here that I'm no longer using, I could delete those, and that's gonna be a really easy way for me to free up a lot of space on my hard drive. So as I said, Clean My Mac, absolutely fantastic tool. Without, with very little work involved, you can um, really clean your Mac up a lot, clear up a lot of space, so I highly recommend that application. A couple of, a couple of other tips that are worth mentioning just for keeping your um, Mac nice and clean and organized. One, one thing I wanna mention is around how to organize files on your desktop. Uh, as you see here, I've got some files here on my desktop. A lot of people will use their desktop as a general just sort of dumping ground for files. Maybe things that you're working on or um, stuff you've downloaded from the internet. And my general rule to keep things really clean is I only put things on my desktop or, or, or use my downloads, I, I use in a similar way. I only put things in the, either of these places temporarily, so while I'm working on things. So these are maybe some files that I'm working on right now, but once I'm done with them, I should either delete them if I no longer need them. So maybe these images here, I can just delete those. I don't need to keep them. I'm gonna move them to the trash. But here I've got some PDFs. Maybe I want to keep those. What I should really do, instead of leaving them on the desktop, I should put them in my documents somewhere. So I'm gonna use my iCloud Drive. I can dig into my um, documents here and I'm gonna store them away somewhere. Maybe I have a folder for receipts and things like that. But don't leave them on the desktop. Put them into Dropbox, put them into iCloud Drive try and treat your desktop as that kind of temporary holding place for your files. Same goes for your doc your downloads as well. Don't store stuff there. It's gonna be really hard to find stuff, especially when that list of downloads gets really, really long. Like I said, once you're done, either delete it or move it into a folder in Dropbox or iCloud Drive like I do. Another app that I quickly want to recommend uh, for keeping your Mac clean and organized is Hazel. Hazel is a, a system preferences application, you can see it here, that allows me to automate the updating and flow of uh, files on my computer. So I, um, you set up a bunch of folders for Hazel to watch, and then when a file comes into that folder that meets certain rules, you can have Hazel perform actions on them. So for example, I have here, this is my receipt from my accountant that I get every month. You can see if it contains a certain text, if it's a PDF and it has the date and it's in a certain uh, format, uh, there we go, I can see the format of the date, then what it will do is it will move it to my receipts folder in my documents and it will actually rename the file to the date uh, as well. So really great application for automatically putting files into the right place. But a really useful thing to do, I can do things like, uh, I can delete things automatically after a certain number of days. So I have this folder called shared, where this is where I, I use Dropbox to share files. And I will delete things from that folder automatically after 14 days. So you can see here I have a simple rule. If the date added is not in the last 14 days, move it to the trash. So that's a really simple way that I can keep certain fi uh, certain folders on my computer really clean instead of building up with lots of uh, documents over time, I can, uh, I can automatically have stuff go to the trash. Speaking of which, Hazel actually does have some great um, features for helping to keep my trash bin nice and minimal. So I can um, delete files that are sitting in my trash. If they've been in there for more than a month, I can have them deleted. Or if my trash gets above a certain size, again, I can have them deleted. Um, and so it's just a nice way to make sure my hard drive isn't filling up with stuff that's just sitting there in my trash. It just, Hazel just will automatically secure, uh, securely get rid of things for me once they get old or, or too big. And the final tip I want to share for Mac users, it's amazing how many people still don't do this, but if you haven't already, set up a time machine backup. You really should have multiple backups of your computer, but as a minimum, I do recommend setting up time machine. It's built into the Mac. And so what you do is you connect a hard drive and your Mac will automatically then keep backups of all of the files and folders and, and uh, important information on your machine. So you can see here, my latest backup was a couple of days ago. 
uh, I've um, yeah well I've it's just backed up all of my all of my important documents and folders and so yeah it means if I accidentally delete something I can easily recover it the great thing about using time machine I think is the ease of recovery I was talking about this with a friend the other day compared to other services Apple's time machine is just so easy to navigate through the file structure here uh, and I can go back to last month and I can dig through my folders and things and find the, the files that I'm looking for. I just find it super easy to recover things. Um, but like I said, if you're not, I highly recommend you get a time machine backup going. Um, you only need to have a disaster once where you need to, where you lose something once, like an important document, maybe a, a school assignment or a work project that you're working on. You only need to lose it once for you, for you to learn that lesson. So uh, hard drives and storage is very cheap these days. Get a hard drive, plug it into your machine, leave it there set and forget and time machine will take care of the rest so those are my simple um so those are my simple tips for keeping your mac clean and organized and secure if you have any questions please leave me a comment below and if you have any of your own tips i would love to hear from you as well so leave me a comment below this video thank you very much and i will see you in the next video